folks, welcome to the Sloppy Boys, where we take a deep dive into the drink that you love. <laughs> the drink. We do the same drink every week, so you can tune in. Water. That's an interesting flub. Yeah. Um, I'm oh, your God. Host. Keep that in. I'm Jeff Dutton, along with Mike Hanford. Hello. And Tim Kalpakis. What is up? Jeff Dutton. Beat red today. Yeah, I don't know what it is. We well, got a little something going on with your camera. I think you got a new camera. Oh, yeah, we're working on it. we're working on cameras, but I look like heat miser. You look like maybe yeah. just I don't know a little nervous to be working with Tim and Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Episode one seventy seven. Nervous to be. Hey guys, hope you enjoy Tim. my stuff today. <laughs> you look you look you do look like you just came back from the beach. Uh, I came out from the rain. Does that help? No, I guess you'd be the opposite color, blue. Mm. Um. Damn. This is a this is this is a frazzled Damn. episode for the sloppy boys. I I just got back home from Joshua Tree. Mike, you said you're frazzled. Jeffy came in from the rain. Where we were our nerves are on edge. I just I usually live my life in a sort of constant state of frizzility. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's he's frizz- What's going on? I got to do something. I think. Um, listen to this uh, blunder I I just made that was quite bad. Remember last week I was like. Uh, Talking about how I ate a big ramen before the show. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Well, I did that again, but guess what I spilled? The, the worst possible thing to spill in a kitchen. Honey. I, sp- I spilled a jar of flyby Jing oh. Uh, oh. chili crisps. So it's like goopy oil. Oh, Timothy. And precious. And, and so delicious and precious. And precious. I mean, it's like $16 <laughs> a jar and it got oh, yeah. on me. It got into my ramen. It got and on it the got floor. On me. It got splattered <laughs> on the cabinets. It got on me. And it got into, I got these little like mats in the kitchen. It got soaked into the little carpets. This was the hardest cleanup ever. Uh, I was just like wiping oil on the tiles. That's and you're going to be picking out little chili crisp nuggets, <laughs> little, little chili flakes. For years. That happened to me Ugh. once. I, I dropped a bottle of olive oil and it's like, what? This Ew. is going to take forever to clean up. And it was just kind of every day <laughs> you keep going over the same thing over and over. It's a slippery <laughs> just little a puddle. slippery little spot. I kind of, it, it kind of buffs the floor. I was like wiping it down and like buffed, it was like polished the floor a little Ooh. bit. <laughs> you do the whole apartment. Uh, here's something. Here's a little kitchen uh, innovation I came upon yesterday. I'm drinking a scotch, right? It's the end of the Ooh. night. Scotch, scotch, I'm, scotch. I got a scotch on the rocks. I've come to like it, the PD scotch. I've gotten used to it. Didn't oh take long. God. Nasty. But it was a little too PD. I wasn't in that mood. So I said, you know what? I had some <coughs> PD. I had some, I had some uh, uh, maple syrup out. Oh. I just mm. had pancakes for dinner. I made pancakes for dinner. <laughs> <laughs> Dark. Well, it's uh, I've, I, it's my right to do it. So I had the pancake <laughs> stuff out. So it wasn't, it was kind of room temperature, so it was a little runnier. I dunked a little bit of that into this scotch. Oh. That is mm. what I've been looking for with my, you know, those maple old fashions you can get. Yep. Sometimes oh. what you're looking for has been in front of you this whole time. Been in whole front of me the whole time. Thank you, Jeff. Mike, was it a little bit like the rusty nail, which had uh, drambuie? He doesn't remember, Tim. No, that's, that's a useless question for a guy like Mike. <laughs> Years ago, I'm sure I didn't drink the rusted nail. I think I drank something different. Um, rusty nail. Rusted root uh-huh. is the band, though. Ooh. Um, I, had a, I had a rusty nail at Bigfoot uh, recently. Quite delicious. Nice. I got to try that again. Uh, another little... Um, liquor innovation I had over the weekend. Not an innovation, just kind of struck me. You know, you go to your liquor bottles sometimes and they're covered in dust. You're not, yeah. the Galliano really doesn't get that much use. Yeah. Unless it's summertime and you're going to a park and you're bringing a whole bottle of Yellowbird. Well, I was walking around my house the other day. I was, a, uh, I had one of those spray uh, air duster things. <laughs> Getting uh, my TVs and stuff. And I go by the TV and where, where my liquor cabinet is, I said, oh, wait a minute. Start blowing off the the dust looks like a brand new looks like a brand new yes yes the the can duster did i not make that clear it's a it looks like brand new bar over here hey mike uh, do yourself a favor give yourself a little two to that (laughs) yeah i'm a little dusty myself Uh, one for daddy (laughs) (laughs) just blowing dust off your face (laughs) 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 but but do that folks do that go that's a tough spot to clean sometimes you can just get that like wand in there or something of the uh yeah mine's mine's gross you just gotta like the the, the back bottles (laughs) yeah though you you get you that magic wand you try to clean your bottles with that (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> well, yeah. doesn't work. Uh, not that type of wand. You know what I'm talking about. A little duster wand. No. <laughs> not a dildo. 
electronic dildo. Here's my innovation. I didn't have any Coke this weekend. Coca-Cola in the fridge. Hmm. How are you going to make a Batanga? How am I going to make a Fernandito? Is was mm-hmm. my real question mm-hmm. for Frankly, myself. Yeah. I'm watching movies and I said, God, I, I would love to have, I got a brand new bottle of Fernand. I got no Coke. And then I realized deep in the back of my fridge, a lone Dr. Pepper. Oh, Jeff, that's good. What's a lone Dr. Pepper doing? That's nice. I know. That's nice. I, I couldn't believe it. I was in there with a flashlight and I parted the ferns and I saw <laughs> Dr. Pepper hanging in the back. <laughs> And then, so I put them together and I made a little Dr. Fernetter. <laughs> How about that? That's good. And the taste was good. Hey, that's I, did, did the Fernet kind of just dominate it or could you get, taste a little bit of the doctor? Well, no, you know, you know, that you know, the Fernet is dominant. Sure. So, but uh, it just like the Coke, the, the Dr. Pepper gives you that little bit of sweet. That's nice. Oh, that's nice. I poured myself a big Mr. Pib from a Coke free freestyle machine when I went Duh. to see Madam Webb the other day. <laughs> you saw Madam Webb? <laughs> I did and too, I'll tell it you. It had no that. taste. I had to dump the whole thing back. I went to a different machine. I tried it. It's still no oh. taste. I dumped out three Mr. Pibs and then I had a lemonade. Those... <laughs> It wasn't Pib Extra. It was just normal Pib. I tried them all. This, these these freestyle machines had no sh- fucking taste. Those freestyle <laughs> machines are insane. It, it, They're supposed to have every taste. They don't have any taste that are, are at all good. <laughs> it's too much shit. It's too Ugh. much for the for the populace to have. Give them enough rope to hang themselves. Yeah. I went to, uh, I saw Madam Web, uh, I think on opening weekend, I went with some friends. You know, our buddy uh, Nick Naney, he was, who's been on Questions for Lennon. Mm-hmm. He was with us. Personally, I call him Nick Nanny, but. And Nick Nanny, I I should too. That's how he, he pronounces it. <laughs> That's how he says it. So you should maybe get on board with that. I think you got to get on board. I, I learned it as Nanny. And then I, you know, I thought I was, I thought it was Namey for a while. Like name. Anyway. I had uh, a cat named Namey. Continue. I knew about that. So uh, we went to the uh, Madam Web in the 4DX, you know, those seats that go up and down and spit water. <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Yeah. And we get to Nick's seat. <laughs> it had a full water puddle in it. <laughs> and we were like, well, yeah, you're not sitting there. So we that found some extreme. other seats because no one was there. And yeah, that, that was, he must have seen Waterworld the, the movie before. <laughs> they put a quart of water in the seat. So we found a couple seat. other seats and then the trailers start. Uh, and to show off how the how the seats work, and ours isn't moving at all. And we're like, oh, they didn't turn them on because nobody bought these seats, so we had to find him another seat kind of away from us. But <laughs> it was very fun. Uh, that movie was, you know, it needed a rewrite, but I think uh, I still had a good time. Wow. Yeah. <sighs> were there any Easter eggs? Oh, <laughs> yes. I'm sure there were, but I don't really know. No, but at the end, did did people gasp when like you know Wolverine came out? Did they do anything? No, he weird? didn't come out. And they didn't have any. Uh, they didn't have a scene at the end. I was like, what the? F-? I thought this was like every hey? Marvel. There wasn't a post credits, but there was a. I mean, the movie ends with pretty much like a commercial for the next movie. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They're not making another one of those. I don't know. You they, think with they, we, you think with Sydney Sweeney on board, they're not going to make another movie? They'll make the Sydney Sweeney show. Uh, yeah, I bet you they will do that. I saw uh, uh, Sydney Sweeney and. Billy Eilish next to each other. I thought they were the same person. Mm. You, they look like oh, twins. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, they both have that like sleepy-eyed, doe-eyed, 70s lady yeah. eye. Yeah. We got to start having that sleepy-eyed look. Yeah. I know. <laughs> <laughs> me, 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 me. So blow off your uh, liquor bottles, folks. <laughs> 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 You know what's a fun uh, accessory? You're talking about mm-hmm. the can of air to dust stuff. How about mm-hmm. the electric tennis racket for hitting bugs, huh? Yeah, oh, yeah, oh. yeah, yeah, yeah. I got one of those. We should. That should be another zap challenge. <laughs> <laughs> we got too much. You got to deal with your voodoo zaps first. Oh right, <laughs> I'm up to like I'm up to like eight bags. Hey, we got to do that drink when I'm in uh, LA know, because yeah, that's yeah. gonna be. I meant to do it for Mardi Gras and it came and went. Yeah. Yeah, but we did the Ramos Fizz. Mm, yes. <laughs> we sure did. We sure did. We sure. Well, as we close out the IBA, it's nice to knock these off, right? Yeah. Yep. Hmm. Well, do we get in some booze news? Jeff, what are you? Yeah, I was going to say, what are you What are you taking your time for over there? You like to get right into booze news. <laughs> <laughs> no, you like to get right in. You're the rush Me? guy. No, I am the, well, here's the thing. Me. I'm the rush guy. I love shit chat. I will do that for the full hour if we need to. Because you don't like talking cocktails. I don't like cocktails. 
<laughs> you like pancakes for dinner. No, Ooh. I'm saying, yeah, I'll do everything a little backwards. I'm saying, Jeff, I don't what? I don't like what this idea of like, OK, we did all this crap and now it's drink time. Now we got nothing to say. What are we going to say for the next? I say as long as we have things to That's say, keep say, it rolling. Oh, no, I'm getting notes of uh, lime. I'm getting notes mm. of honey. OK, we're ready for booze news. <laughs> yes. Hit it. We will get this light slip Will the booze be the news Will the drink of the day Have bomb day or chartreuse As I ring dong Durango Right <laughs> coach I chi chai Cause the main podcast host Is a hell of a guy Bip to Spip was sent to us by <laughs> Paige Reagan, a.k.a. Pagan Rage. And if you have a booze news theme, email it to the sloppy boys podcast at gmail.com. <laughs> <laughs> that was a nice little jam. That reminded me of, uh, I don't exactly know if they sound like this, but if we're like the band um, Jamestown Massinger, Massacre. Oh, yeah, they're in that documentary Dig with yeah. the Dandy Warhols. They were the what's other what's band. It? Jamestown Massacre? Brian Jonestown. Brian yeah, Jonestown. Brian Jonestown. But uh, this song, this was a Built to Spill. Uh, that's a Built to Spill oh, song. They swapped it. But it's kind spot. of that trippy, dreamy rock. But some alt okay. rock. Is for that sure. shoegaze? You know, people talk about shoegaze. What's that all about? <laughs> that's my bloody Valentine. That's my bloody Valentine, and I can't even think of even one other reference point. <laughs> <laughs> that, that's what you say if people ask. You say my bloody Valentine, okay. and it's because they were staring at their pedals, Mike. Their pedals. That's why it's called shoegaze. Oh, I thought it was shoegaze because the audience is just like, well, whatever, and looking at their feet. Pretty much, but it's the guy on stage. Damn. 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 Um, you guys want to hear some booze news? Mm-hmm. I would love to. This is what we like to call uh, quick bips. Uh, bipping around... Kind of uh, checking in the follow-ups to some stories oh, nice. that we've been nice, we've nice, been nice, tracking nice. here. Um, the first one we asked for, it, we got it. the The first of the new Don the Beachcomber restaurants has opened. Um, I just sent you guys a link so you can see uh, the article in I Love the Berg, which I think is St. Petersburg. Uh, Florida news. <laughs> Wait, are you are you paying for this? Remember that? you got Tampa news once. <laughs> yeah, I probably paid one hundred and twenty dollars for this. Yeah, well, I, I was accidentally subscribing to the Tampa like Tampa <laughs> Business Insider for a year on my own credit card. <laughs> um, in in uh, Madeira Beach, Madeira Beach, Florida, mm-hmm. um, the we got more of the a restaurant group had acquired the rights to Don the Beachcomber and Don the Beachcomber's recipes and stuff like that a year ago. We were waiting for these to open. Now here they come. I'm looking at some pictures here. It looks a little chainy dinky. Mm-hmm. Uh it's it, mm-hmm. it it doesn't look it doesn't smack of authenticity. It looks like a set. It looks like a yeah. Disney XD show oh, yeah. set or it's something. It's very bright. You know what's the difference here with like this or, and something like uh, Tiki T in, in like the first place in Silver Lake? There's too much space on the walls. Right. You know what I mean? Like I hate going to Tiki bars and it's like, we got a few of those hanging things, but not many. <laughs> right. It's got to be cluttery <laughs> and you can't see the wall at all. Yeah. You need yeah. jokey things on the wall. You need a... A big skeleton who was wearing a, a, a pirate hat, maybe. Right. Yeah. Funny, campy stuff. And this stuff has just has a little bit of that party city look to it, as opposed to uh, yeah. Yeah. like stuff that was brought back from the, the aisles. Yeah. And, yes, and like I agree. there's a wood, like a sign it carved that says Don the Beachcomber, but you can tell that wasn't whittled into the wood. That's like a piece of mm-hmm. plastic. So it's, it's like 3D printed 3, 3D plastic. Printed. Yeah. <laughs> um, also, it's just so bright. Like you want you want a dank, funky place like Tiki T. They could smoke cigarettes inside until like 12 months ago. <laughs> it's, <laughs> really? it's that way for decades. Like it's got to have a little bit of a dank. This does not look dank, but this looks almost like the more recent Margaritavilles. But uh, the food looks good, right? Look at these uh, wings it and does. tenders. Yeah. That kind of looks mm-hmm. and ribs, a lot chicken satay and crab rangoon uh, finger food. That'll be fun. But I don't know. I think a place you got to go in there and soak it up. So with slopheads in Florida, make your way to the Don the Beachcomber restaurants and yeah. uh, send us, a, us send us a send us a tape. We want to hear what it's like. Yeah, send us a tape. Uh, what does it say they're going to open any more of these? Yeah, there's like two more coming immediately and, uh, possibly more beyond that in, in Florida. Yep. 
Uh-huh. In the southeast, starting with Florida, but I think it's allowed to trickle its way up into Georgia. I felt Ooh. Want, so. <laughs> I, I don't know if I knew this. Don Beach, maybe it rings familiar, but uh, his name is Ernest Gant. Yeah. yeah, we know. We know that? Okay, that's uh, a lame... <laughs> Don Beach is much cooler than Ernest Gant. Yeah, you'd change it too. And also just the Don the Beachcomber changed his legal name to Don Beach. <laughs> like, it's, yeah, it's a, and why the two ends? He's an interesting Don man. Beach. Weird. Yeah. He's constantly iterating. I like that. Well, you know, in the morning when he gets out of the shower, he's a beachcomber. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you get out of the shower after Comer's you dry hair. your hair, maybe. You got to get that hair in order. Comer. Okay. He's, yeah. he's Don Beach. See, I, I don't use a comb, so that didn't, that didn't hit me. Yeah, don't use a comb. You use a brush. I don't even do that. You're telling me <laughs> that's just a natural. Whatever happens, happens up there. Wow. Mm-hmm. Michael, are you, I, I just use my fingers as well. Are you a comb? No, I man? comb. I got a comb because my hair is so fine and like thin. It looks stupid. Ooh, it's all the time. fine, all right. Oh, it's so fine. It's, it's so, so fine. fine. Doodle lang, doodle lang. No, it's just like f- flops down. I gotta, I gotta comb it into some shape. Now, does it get confusing that you, one of your best friends from uh, school as a kid, was Tom Combs, mm-hmm. and now you comb your hair? Yeah, well, I did it back then too, and did it before I even knew him. So, oh, okay, it, it mm-hmm. was easier. I would get more confused about who he was. <laughs> 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 who are you? The first time you saw him. <laughs> All right, who are you? Okay. Um, and then as long as hey, as long as we're following up on done the beachcomber things. Uh, the Don the Beachcomber documentary, The Dawn mm. of Tiki, does not have a release date yet, but their their Instagram is going strong now. If you go take a look at The Dawn of Tiki, you're going to see clips. There's got like animation. There's like stop motion and there's drawings in Disney style and their, mm. their clips are coming in. It looks like a very fun film. Hey, maybe nice. uh, a movie theater in the country, all the movie theaters in the country could show... Uh, a double play of us, uh, our documentary, and the Don the Beachcomber. Doc. Yes, yeah. good, Michael. Very Might good. Might be good to cross integrate. <laughs> that would be. That's a good idea for every theater in the country to do that. <laughs> Even just play ours. I don't care about that movie. <laughs> every theater plays our movie. That'd be great. <laughs> Was well, that it for booze news? Well, and then the last thing that I just wanted to mention is: Have you guys ever seen the show Lost LA? No. It's a, it's a local LA KCET show hosted mm. by a, a, a nerdy guy, Nathan Masters. Anyway, it just came back. I haven't watched it yet, but there's an episode called uh, Tiki Bars and Their Hollywood Origins. So yet another Don the Beachcomber thing just dropped. It, 2024 is the year of Ernest Gant. <laughs> Nice. You can't get away from Ernest Gant in this year. <laughs> People want to. <laughs> I just can't, can't, can't get away from that Gant, Gant, Gant. Get away from that Gant, Gant, Gant. It rolls off the tongue. It's so memorable. Yeah. Is that a finally it for Booze News? Wrap it up. Ooh. That's it for Booze News. Ooh, I don't even remember Booze News. Ooh, yeah, I, I feel like, like I got my dream. My skull scraped. <laughs> is that is that what the Men in Black uh, baton is called? Skull scraper. Well, that's got a name. Uh, Vaporizer, ionizer. Yeah, skull scraper is gauche. That's ghastly. <laughs> yeah, that's ghastly. <laughs> Don't call it that. Men Don't call it in that. Uh, Tommy Black Lee and Will memory Smith. Well, eraser. I know that Will Smith called it a memory thingy or mind eraser. Neuralizer. 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 Mm. We use one of those at the end of a Sloppy Boys sketch or Birthday Boys sketch. Folks, tune in at the end of the episode to find out which uh, sketch it was. <laughs> <laughs> We're not going to play it for you. Nope. Ooh. But we'll tell you which one. Also, for you to be on the lookout, listen out for, you know, any types of uh, things that might uh, bring us to a Sloppy Boys song to play at the end oh, of yeah, the episode. Oh, yeah. Plug a song. Oh. Plug the tunes. Yeah, I bet you're listening for it. <clears throat> hmm. hmm. I love that. Oh, and it's somebody's, it's somebody's pick this time, isn't it? It was because I did it last time. Sure, but ideally it's, it doesn't have to be anyone's pick. There's That's just true. a great There's just a great song for us to all That's love. That's true, and but it should come down to somebody. Somebody should feel a pressure by the end. <laughs> somebody's in the hot seat. <laughs> I'm going to put someone in the hot seat. Sweating bullets. It's too stressful. Not, not this yeah. episode. Because you might choose wrong. You might choose the wrong song and then you might yeah. fuck bad, it bad episode. You might be stuck with a bad one. Ugh. Oh, something else I want to say about the... Are you guys liking the video? I'm enjoying the video part of this. Doing a video, yeah, pod? it's all right. Mm-hmm. I, I think people are uh, really responding. 
I think people are really <laughs> respectful. Could they could respond a little more maybe and tell their friends and have their friends also watch. But hmm. one hmm. thing I do want to uh, figure out though, my 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 camera is backwards. Jeff, yours is forward. Yours is forward. Why is my camera backwards? You can flip it. Tim's is too. I, I've noticed that when when I watch the YouTube link, it's like. You'll be one way when you're in, when we're in thirds like this, and then if it cuts to just Hanford, it'll flip them around ah. correctly in that moment. This, hmm. but it's, it's rather dynamic. Well, I um, I'm I'm just putting it down on my uh, weekly schedule here to have a long conversation with our editor Milan. Yeah, chew him out, <laughs> <laughs> sit him down. I uh, you're listening to this right now, Milan. Uh, expect a call. <laughs> I actually don't think he listens to these. I think he just chops them and passes them along. <laughs> I'm kidding. He's doing a great job. Well, with booze news behind us, mm -hmm. we turn our attention to the drink of the day. <laughs> oh, Mike, Ooh, you flipped. <laughs> I, went, <laughs> I went off the grid. Now I'm disoriented. I know I am. No, too. he's good. There you go. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, but working on um, the plants around Okay, here, the drink of the day. We didn't even discuss who was going to introduce this. I assume it's me, right? <laughs> no, <laughs> if, I, if you would, <laughs> Tim, that would be nice. <laughs> I had a presentation. Oh, I'm just going to drag <laughs> that to trash. Go ahead, Tim. I had a whole thing, but. The, the Kanchanchara. Now, I looked at it. I wanted to say Kanchanchara, but it's it's Cuban. And when there's accent in the middle syllable, I think it means, means you emphasize the middle syllable. So Kanchanchara. You mm. had? No, 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 no. No, no, no. Uh, what about the Kanchanchara? I feel like we've said the word Kanchanchara for something else, maybe? Or that was... Kachasa, it's similar. Yeah, that's probably what I'm thinking of. <laughs> Kanchanchara, Kachasa. Oh, I thought can't, something. So I this, you, have you guys heard or had? No, neither. No. Me neither. And it has become... Uh, famous to us as something that we scroll past on the IBA <laughs> cocktail list as we have been making our way through all of the drinks in the International Bartenders Association cocktail list. We're we're getting, is it down to just two? Is it this and then the daiquiri? We, yeah. 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 So we're almost done. We're almost, this is huge. huge. I was hoping this, this podcast would huge. fizzle out before we got to the end of it. I didn't <laughs> well, it still might because there's one left. <laughs> yeah, that's true. There's plenty of time. Um, we're going to keep going after and we're going to, we have excite, exciting things in store. But here's, this was one of these ones where we were kicking the can, much like the Vento. If the name is challenging and then you click and the ingredients are challenging, we were like, mm, let's mm. save that for another yeah. week. Um and then finally, got no, we said, let's end on the, it'll be thrilling to end with the daiquiri. So then let's do this <laughs> obscure one right before that. You guys don't think it'll be thrilling? <laughs> it's funny because yeah. it's like, the daiquiri is one you know, but it's like, it's not like, oh, the daiquiri. <laughs> also, we like we said, we've backed into it. We've done all these different daiquiris and spinoffs of the daiquiri. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To just go back to the main daiquiri is like, okay. Well, this is going to piss you off even more because this drink was in the section of the IBA cocktail list that's called New Era Drinks. There's mm -hmm. Unforgettables, Contemporary Classics, oh, and New Era Drinks. Me off. So we were like, what is this new ass drink? We've never heard of it. We just are trying to get to that grand finale of the daiquiri. Everyone's going <laughs> to lose their shit over. I Google this fucker. Turns out it's old as fuck. This is the oldest cocktail in Cuba. And believe it or not, it's like a direct precursor to the daiquiri. Oh, oh. this is great. News so this worked us. out great for oh, us. Good. So I was mad, but I guess we're happy. No, be happy, yeah. Tim. Hey, I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> um, this is what becomes the daiquiri, becomes all the other lime sugar rum ish drinks we've talked about. Nice. Um, because it's really old. This is, we're talking 1800s. It's back, it dates back to the, the 10 years war between Cuban guerrilla forces and Spain. It also, uh, it was like a healing drink mm. around that oh. time. They're drinking it out of little clay pots called, uh, oh. Copas de Barro. Um, and then it's like the, um, <laughs> come on, right. what's it called? Cantorito. The little clay Cantoritos. That's the word I was thinking of. Little clay pots. Yeah. Yes, yes, yes. Not can Kanchanchara. But the Kanchanchara, nobody knows what that word means. Uh, there's theories, uh, and they all sounded wrong to me. So it's just a word that somebody said. <laughs> they like, sounded wrong to you. Well, uh, <laughs> no, no, no. People are like, oh, maybe it's some like onomatopoeia for like, uh, like shaking ice or ah. some, something like that. Ooh, that'd be cool. Um, but 
Yeah, it spreads from Cuba to Trinidad, gets really big in Trinidad. It's still big in Trinidad. But uh, this is just a drink that is uh, a nice, simple drink. And the IBA was wrong, wrong, wrong about it being new. It's an old sour. And here. Yeah, their first strike. Are the ingredients. Mm. 60 milliliters, two ounces. Cuban aguardiente. Aguardiente. Cuban aguardiente. Never heard of it. No. Uh, we've got a lot to say about that. Mm. Yeah. 15 milliliters, half an ounce, joisteline, fresh lime juice. 15 milliliters, half an ounce, raw honey. Don't be cooking that honey. <laughs> Michael? <laughs> Not a syrup, Mike. 50 milliliters oh, yeah. water. <laughs> oh, I missed that when I was looking at That's it. That's kind of funny. Ooh, it's kind of like that grog we had on Doughboys. Yeah. And, okay, here's the method. Mix honey with water and lime juice and spread the mixture on the bottom and sides of the glass. This oh, is interesting. Huh. Spread, okay. Add cracked ice, then the rum. See, they're even using the word rum right now. Um, and <laughs> by energetically stirring from Ooh. bottom to top. This, I'm going to say this again. Mix honey with water and lime juice and spread the mixture on the bottom and sides of the glass. Mm -hmm. Add cracked ice, then the rum, and by energetically stirring the bottom to top. <laughs> Kanchantara as you stir. Garnish with a lime wedge. Okay. Wow. So did we all try to find ag aguardiente? Yeah. Yes. And none of us actually found it. No. I was looking for some sort of rum. And then um, I did see that it was like sugarcane based. Mm -hmm. I had a spirited interaction with the top line uh, spirits guy. He was uh, typing away. I, should, I wish I recorded it because he was so, so boisterous about it. And he was looking through and he's like, we, we haven't had it. I, we've had it for 30 years and suddenly we don't have it. I don't know what the story is. Nobody can find it. And he said, he looked online and said, it's similar to Reiki from France, Uzo from Greece, Sambuca from Italy. And he said, no, 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 that's not right. So this guy clearly has had it before and knows what he's talking about. And he said, he came back to, it's got to be that, what's that sugar cane thing? And I said, cachaca, mm. and he lit up. He lit up like a Christmas tree. He couldn't be happier. <laughs> um, and so we we kind of determined it, what what would be great is 80% cachaca, 20% of that star anise flavor that you get from the Sambuca. Okay. Mm, okay. Now, here's what I have to say, Jeff. I ain't doing that. I'm not doing that shit. Well, I happen to have that stuff, so that's what I'm going to do. Well, you do what you want to do, but here's what I have to say to the guy at Top Line Liquors. I think that he, according to my research, mm. I think he's thinking of Colombian agua, uh, aguardiente. Because um, mm. I watched some YouTube video, videos about aguardientes. The word means like fire water. So it's kind of like just saying like alcohol or like, yep. like or, or people like schnapps or something. Uh -huh. But it sounded to me, I watched some reviews of guys drinking uh, the Colombian version and they're like, yep, got that black licorice. It's like tequila and black licorice. Uh, uh, and then people... I saw some bartenders tasting the Cuban stuff yes. and uh, they were saying that it tasted more like rum and that it had the, uh, they, but they mentioned an earthy grassiness. So I think Cachaca is uh, on, is on the right base. track. Split base. <laughs> Here's what I'm, I think I'm going to split Cachaca and white rum. Yeah. Bacardi. Yeah. Um, and so, what were the measurements on the Cachaca? I think I must have it from the last time. Well, it's it, it, you're supposed to do two ounces of aguardiente, yeah, so yeah. you know maybe one ounce of cachaca and one ounce of rum, mm. but um, or just do cachaca. But um, what what's the, what makes me think cachaca is definitely going to be right is not only they, did they mention a grassy earthiness, but this is it's a it's like another cheap liquor that's made from a byproduct of sugar cane. So yeah. like. Mm. Um, I'm going to get this wrong and real real booze people are going to be angry with me, but... Oh, they'll get over it. You know, rum, it's like there's sugar cane and you can make a few things from it. And there's like, like rum is like made from the molasses and cachaca is made from like the leftover cane juice or, or whatever. All of these are coming from sugar cane, but mm -hmm. aguardiente, much like cachaca, is like a... like a less desirable part of the process of the sugar cane. Okay. Yeah. It's like a laborer's drink or whatever. Right. Oh, right. Cause cachaca was like using the, no, nope, that's something else. Well, another drink. Yeah. Cachaca was something okay. that like the, like enslaved workers were making in the mm -hmm. rum fields. Uh, well, okay. So, um, 
like for themselves. So I think Aguardiente is different, but I think Cachaça sounds correct to me. Nice. And what we're looking at with the honey, it makes sense. This is a precursor to a, a daiquiri because honey would just be like a, a thing you got. And so maybe this will be kind of a little now, I don't, a, a I don't warmer. Know if- I don't have raw honey, but what is raw honey? Just out of the, straight out of the comb? I have <laughs> straight out the comb. Wait, okay. So you got Tom Combs, your friend. You got combing <laughs> hair. Now uh, you got honeycomb. <laughs> me want honeycomb. Jeez. Um, I have raw honey. I'll report back. I, I don't. I haven't tasted it, but um, here's what. Uh, because this was a healing drink, this was sometimes served hot, and I could imagine this being nice hot. You know, with the honey, it's a, kind of sounds mm. like a hot toddy kind of. Yeah, vibe. it does. I feel like I'm gonna have to go a little lighter on that water because I'm. I want. I do want that like paste to go around the the rim of the glass. I, I think the water is gonna make it not a. Oh, you're going all the way up. You're coat, coating it from the base all the way to the rim. Is, is, that's what it said, right? The bottom and then down up on the walls a little bit. Yeah. But don't forget to stir energetically. Energetically also. enough to make that sound. Conchantara, conchantara. <laughs> 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 all right, great. You guys want to get to it? Yes. Yeah. All right, folks. Open up your ears. Open up. Open up your wallets. Open up your hearts. Here come the ads. We'll be right back after this. Conchanchara's in hand. Canchanchara. <laughs> is that what it is? Uh, no, 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 it's Conchanchara. Okay, um, fine. Yours both look, okay. Michael, yours is very light compared to yeah. ours. Yeah, what did you guys, mm. what did you guys put in yours? <laughs> we use raw, raw honey. How about you? I use just honey. Uh, so I guess we learned that raw honey is yellower. Yellow. Well, what, what uh, <laughs> liquors did you have? I did white rum and a little bit of Conchanchara. Uh, no. Cachaça. Cachaça. <laughs> yeah, me yeah, too. Yeah, that's what I did. Me too. Yeah. And did you guys have that same issue where once that honey hits that cold water, that cold lime juice, it turns into a blob. That's why you have to vigorously stir it. <laughs> well, I was trying to make the syrup and like, it, it was just like, I know. okay, there's a bunch of the liquid and then there's just like a gummy booger of honey I'm trying to work around. I thought it was really going to crust around the side of the right. rim. Because typically drinks we make, uh, you're using honey syrup that we we've yeah. pre-mixed, but this one, the fact that they were saying put honey in there, I thought we were really going to be like yeah. spreading it on a glass. That didn't happen at all. At all. Like it, it, it that's what I said. If you add water to it, it's immediately just going to make it slippier. And what was with spreading the mixture on the bottom and sides of the glass, but then that's, we're going to end by I mean. energetically stirring anyway. This is flawed. And also stirring bottom from top, from bottom to top, you can't stir the bottom without stirring the top as well. There's no way to do it. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> no, I was only stirring the bottom. Should we take a sip before these get yeah, let's do it. bubbling hot? Sippies. Okay. It's not all bad. Mm-hmm. It's that... It's that honey, though, huh? No, it's the cachaça for me. I do... Really? I, yeah, I don't like that. It's the cachaça for me. Um, hmm. I'm getting the grassiness from that. I do like the honey. The honey adds kind of a warmth that makes it less like, it's not just like a tropical drink. It's got something, it's it's like caramelized, you know? Woodsy. Yeah. You picture a brown Molasses-y. bear. Yeah. Ooh. Mm. Mm. Okay. Ooh, you know what I'm going to do for my round two is make one of those uh, scotch old fashions I was just telling Mike, you. okay, you, we've had one <laughs> sip of the drink. It's we haven't, we haven't even swallowed our sips, and you're talking about making I a... I took two sips. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, yeah. Okay. I have a feeling this is going to get much better once this ice goes down. I like the cracked yeah. ice, too. Yeah, I got cracked ice. You did cracked? I did normal cubes. Yeah, I mm. cracked it. You know, I did it too. I put it all in a sandwich bag and just whacked it against the wall a few times. Yeah, you throw it on a tile floor or whack yeah. it against the wall. Perfect. Whack it off. Um, Michael, I was just yelling at you. Um, mm. from, was, for the, I hope this is the apology. <laughs> and I'm, I want to say I'm dearly sorry. Dearly. Hmm. Um, I'm very sorry, <laughs> but it reminded me also that I got beef with you. Oh, baby. Oh, no. Here we go. I got to dig in and there's an issue that I, something occurred to me and then it pissed me off all, uh, all week. Um, last Uh-oh, week, folks, <laughs> he did it again. I haven't, I haven't slept a wink. Rating spike incoming. Tim, go for it. <laughs> Tim goes <laughs> off. Ooh, this gives me a good idea. Finish your thing, this, Tim. We but. should have those YouTube thumbnails where I'm like, oh, Tim goes <laughs> off. <laughs> I was just going to say, we should take a few seconds here to 
like angrily yell at each other and then mm-hmm. use that clip for like the clip. Yeah. Hey, fuck you. What the fuck? Fuck you. Oh, I, I wasn't ready. <laughs> <laughs> okay, three, two, one. I don't know what to say. Just finish your thing, Tim. Maybe okay. something will come Oh, up. here's my beef. Yeah. Last week on our best podcast, like this show's okay. The Pagato yeah, Show. But it's okay. The, 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 our better podcast, uh, if you go to patreon.com slash the Sloppy Boys, you can pay $5 yeah. a month and listen to the Sloppy Boys blow out. It's a better show. That's a show. That's a good show. Yeah, That's I don't like show. this, but I actually really connect with that one. I would have listened to that show. Yeah. Um, last week, we did an episode called Handsomest Guy. Yes. And yeah. we each elected. We shouldn't reveal who won because that's kind of just for the people beyond the paywall. But is it part of the beef? Ah, but is it part of the beef? It's, it's, I don't have to say who won, but it's, right. but, but it's part of the beef. You're, you can also say who won. I don't think anyone Well, he's, I, I imagine he's not mad at the guy who also didn't win. <laughs> 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 no, it actually doesn't have anything to do with winning. What it has to do with was just, I had a little theory. I was quite excited about my little theory. And um, I, when I have a little theory, I want it to be confirmed. Okay. Okay. Um, sure. And he'll do whatever it takes to confirm that theory. Yes. A man of science. When I was, I sat down to write a list of who I thought the handsomest guy could be. And I mentioned and I you went to guys. the top of that list, Tim. This <laughs> isn't beef. This is jealousy. <laughs> no, my beef is that I'm jealous. When I was brainstorming, I wrote down a list of guys and I, I told you, uh, you guys, I, I noticed they were all white guys with dark brown hair. And I said, oh, it's interesting that like my... My idea of handsome is based on what I see in the mirror, but better. I see my own flaws and I think yeah, about yeah, what yeah. I vicariously wish the best mm-hmm. version of if you're dealt the hand that I've been dealt. Yeah. Well, like your your animal brain, your animal brain is going back to the earliest Tim yeah. uh, Kalpakis tribes where everybody <laughs> kind of looks the same. Different variations of Tim. Me as a baby looking into the mirror. As a baby looking into the pond, seeing my reflection on top of a, <laughs> a river. <laughs> 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 Coming out of the ocean. <laughs> you, you look back for one goodbye. <laughs> <It's> like, <laughs> the earliest Galpagas makes it to land and sprouts feet. <laughs> so it happens separately for each family. It's not just mankind or humans. It's like the first Galpagas emerges from the swamp. He's got a mustache and a wide jaw. That's so funny. Um, so all my guys uh, were like better versions of me. And then the guy that I elected as handsomest guy was Marlon Brando. And you could look at me and you could see how I would want to look that Marlon Brando is the is the ideal best version of a guy who kind of looks like me. I, I spilled this theory to you guys and I was hoping. I just confirm. spilled some fucking ice on me. Mike. I did. Mike, you're going to get him re I know, I know, I know. But I, I want to hear what the beef is. Maybe my second beef. Um, now, then Jeff elected as his handsomest guy, um, uh, uh, Michael Fassbender. Mm-hmm. And I said, this supports my theory because he's he's a, he's a he's Dutton-esque. Yeah. He's a delightful Dutton. I felt called out when you said that. <laughs> but it, uh, I mean, I was calling myself out. And then you, and then now Hanford, you chose John Ham. John Ham is the handsomest guy. And I could see of, of us, I would say you look the most like John Ham. So it didn't, it didn't mm-hmm. fuck up my Thank theory you. majorly. Uh-huh. But I, something was stuck in my craw all week. And I was like, Hanford, <laughs> Hanford. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? What is it? It's Hanford. I'm thinking, I'm looking, thinking of this kind of flappy haired guy. And I'm like, <laughs> who, do, who should he have chosen? And then I, it occurred to me who I've, I think that who you are a big fan of. And yeah. it is Luke Wilson, Luke Wilson in Bottle yeah. Rocket. And yeah. that's what you look like. And that should be the platonic ideal of a hand man. That's not too far off, Tim. He did come into my, uh, my list a little bit but i just thought with uh you know he's not the most popular uh guy right now and i'm trying to think of like who everyone would think is the well, most you, handsome. you right you wanted to win the competition and then john ham is 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 uh, synonymous with handsome yeah. but there's also a funny thing we tried to not we were trying to do it on like your face and not have too much context but there is some, if you would have paused luke wilson like 
after Tenenbaums or something, we'd be like, that's an amazing actor. I think Luke Wilson mm. is a very good actor, but like, Me too. Me yeah. too. I like the, 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 I don't, the, the career of the last few years, probably we, we probably haven't been thinking about him. He's not top of mind or you even mm. like movies like super ex girlfriend or whatever. You maybe live in a hold against his handsomeness, but yeah, either way, my beef is that I think that you think, I think that you think the handsomest man in the world is Luke Wilson. Me too. I don't think that at all. <laughs> he's not gonna. Cop, he's not gonna cop to it on cop pod. To no it. way. I'll talk to you about this off pod, Tim, and I will say everything you want to hear. <laughs> <laughs> but it is in this public space. I'm the king. You know what's funny is the Wilson brothers back on Bottle Rocket. That was like their first movie based on this short they did. Yeah. Luke Wilson, long hair. Owen Wilson, short hair. And then from that movie yeah, forward, yeah, yeah. they switched. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Like Owen became the floppy guy and then Luke was the short hair guy. Owen Wilson's my favorite of the, the, yeah, old, he's, the Wilson. He's brothers. the best. Let's just say just so you don't everyone, like future man. A future man's a hunk. Um <laughs> let's just say that if Don McLean's uh, uh American Pie Day the Music Died style, if our plane goes down, the sloppy boys, and we die, and somebody wants to make a movie of us. Let's just say it's Luke Wilson, it's Michael Fassbender, and it's uh, Marlon Brando dug up from the dead. They'll, they'll try for Fassbender. <laughs> they won't get him. They'll get Steve Zahn. <laughs> yeah, yeah Steve Zahn. that's true. They'll get DJ Qualls for me. <laughs> <laughs> and Tim, Fred Flintstone, the little animator. <laughs> and, Fred and, Flintstone. and if they can't do that, they'll get uh, the guy who played him in the Flintstones too. <laughs> wait, wait! It wasn't John Goodman. John Goodman it was, was just one. Oh, I thought it. No, you know what I'm thinking of? What, what a v, Viva Rock Vegas! I'm conflating a lot of things. Uh, remember when they came out with Blues Brothers uh, 2000, and John Goodman was the Belushi role, <laughs> or, or I don't know if he was yeah. playing that character, but he was that guy, right? I thought it should have been uh, what's his brother's name, Jim Belushi. Mm -hmm. Who is now, not that right? I, not that I thought it should have or shouldn't have been, but, but I'm thinking that that happened to John Goodman in the Flintstones movies, which I yes, don't yes. think was the case. Wait, but Jim Belushi was like not in Blues Brothers for a while, but is now. Isn't that right? Yeah, I thought we saw him something doing something. I can't imagine John Goodman did two Flintstones movies. Is that... Can that be? I think he did Flintstones on Viva Rock Vegas. <laughs> Flintstones too. It's my belief. Ah, <laughs> uh, no, it's it's Mark Addy. Mark Addy <laughs> uh, became Fred Flintstone and Stephen Baldwin became Barney Rubble. Yeah, I was oh. going to say Baldwin was in there somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> oh, Mark Addy should definitely play me. He's good. <laughs> yeah, Rick He's Moranis good. was Barney before. Hmm. Hey, Liz Taylor. I got to see this movie. Liz Taylor. Uh, Elizabeth uh, Taylor? Jonathan Winters is in it. Rosie O'Donnell. Halle Berry. This is an all-star cast. Flintstones 1, 1994. I saw this movie at a drive-in paired up with Jurassic Park. No shit. Ooh. Yeah. They played this one first, I assume. I had to see Beethoven's second to see Jurassic Park <laughs> in a drive-in. That's a bad pairing. It should have been a dino movie pairing like me. I saw Ghostbusters 2 at a drive-in. Yeah, but that dog looks really big on a on a big screen. Yeah, that's true. Almost Tyrannosaurus. <laughs> mm -hmm. Like almost dinosauric. <laughs> dinosaur. This dog has dinosauric qualities. This dog is downright dinosauric. <laughs> <laughs> this dirty dog is downright dinosauric. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Hey, you can't say any more D words in this movie. We ran out of D's. <laughs> All right, these nuts. Here we go. All right, all right. At all right. work, I was walking down a row of cubicles, and I looked at somebody in my office's cubicle, and they had a, a very cool little trinket on a shelf. It was a mosquito in amber. Mm. <gasps> I, I thought Love that's it. a cool little thing to have on your shelf. You know what I wanted? I needed to replace the shift knob in my car, and I said, wouldn't it be cool if I had an amber mosquito as the yeah. shifter in my car? Yeah, yeah. Damn. What? <laughs> I gotta come to your office and steal that guy's trinket, you know, Tim. Get that. What, Jeff, now what's going on with your car? It was kind of having some problems recently, but did you fix it or did it... Mike? You got a fix yet. We're back in business. With that car or a new car? 
Mazda six. The Mazda six. Let's go. Co- when I come out to LA, let's go car shopping. Let's, let's go fucking fun. do donuts in this thing. Let's go fucking Tesla shopping. You and a Tesla. <laughs> getting good Tesla. I know, but we can drive them. Not on a podcaster salary, Mike. <laughs> well, maybe if our uh, fans, quote unquote, did their job and spread the word. Um, I have know. you seen the what's that Tesla truck called? Like the Land Truck. Cyber truck. cyber truck. I saw, I was in walking in Griffith Park the other day. <laughs> I see a cyber truck and uh, I like saw like. Oh, one of those weird, they're like kind of weird and like trapezoidal. Yeah, right? It's like a, a tinfoil trapezoid. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's yeah, like yeah. a trapezoid. But I know I saw like three of them this week. It's but fucking uh, Bender's Wet Dream stop. if you're a Futurama fan. <laughs> <laughs> Bender's Wet Dream. Um, I saw one of these driving in Griffith Park. I said, look at that, Tim. It's a cyber truck. And then while I was <laughs> looking, you know, you're like admiring, like they're, they're electric and they're quiet and they're so smooth. And as mm. I was watching it, like backfired, it was like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like a Model T. Yeah, like, a, like a fucking jalopy. Like a chitty chitty bang bang. <laughs> but I'm wondering if they built in like it backfires like a real car, but it's like. <laughs> Backfire is only something I've ever seen in movies in like the 80s. It's never. <laughs> Doesn't, and for like plot points of like, oh, my God, a gun went off. Sounds like yeah, a gun. Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Or like uh, uh, Kramer does it in this. This sounds like a starter pistol in the rate. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Jerry yeah. Starts exactly, running. That's exactly what I'm thinking of. Oh, man. Cosmo Kramer <laughs> and Jerry Seinfeld. Yeah, Cosmopolitan Kramer. Mm. <laughs> As this gets melty, I'm loving it. The 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 yep. the molassesy uh, caramel nature of the honey mm. is is it's reminding me of uh, ju- uh, cane juice. Giving cane juice. Cane juice. You know it's got juice cane. <laughs> juice cane. Planters punch. Planters punch. That's the, that's the planters punch song. Oh, this tastes exactly like planters punch. Yeah. No, planters punch is even better. But planters punch, Tim, also. Um, Boasted to having uh, healing qualities. Remember? There you go. And I had one. I had a couple that night. And I woke up right as rain. Never felt better than after a couple planters punches. Damn. I should start doing that every night and every morning when I wake up. This is curing me. I had a, <laughs> I had a, bad, t- I had a bad case of um, good taste in my mouth. So this is curing that right quick. <laughs> I can't believe it's that nasty. I'm I'm getting more. It's not. Um, I'm going to uh, for my round two. I'm not going to use any cachaça. I'm just just using rum. Yeah, it is funny. We've had probably sixteen rum lime drinks, but this is uh, apparently this is the origin story. It's yeah. going way way yeah. back. Well, what were those years, Tim, that you were talking about uh, with this? Oh, like the late 1800s, second half of the 1800s. Mm. Cool. You want to make a second round? Mm. Y'all. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. Folks, we'll be right back after this. Yes. And we're back with round two of Canchancheras. <laughs> I just did hot water to make the process easier. Oh, oh to, to make your honey soft. Yeah, but oh, that's then, a good I'm not, idea. Uh, then I'm definitely not spreading the goop around. It's just like a liquid ingredient that's going you in first. You weren't spreading the goop anyway, and you mentioned hot. Jeff, look, <laughs> I made a hot conchonchera. Oh, wow. Ooh. It's a healing a tiny guy. Yeah, not a, not, a group, not a big yield, as Jeff would say. Oh, well, I guess the, the ice is gone. No the cubes ice. really fill it up. Yeah. And Mike, what did you make? I, I just did uh, rum. I, I made the same thing except without the conchonchera. Uh, Kanch- uh, what, what the fuck are we talking about? <laughs> Kachasa. 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 I did not put in. <laughs> Kachasa. Sips. I like that name though, Kachasa. I wish I liked Kachasa. Oh, I took my sip. It's something's wrong with it. <laughs> Kachasa is funny because it's you, it's got a lot of C's in it and they're all pronounced differently. You got ka Sha. Oh, oh, yeah. That's cool. They're using every part of the buffalo. Yeah, it's yeah. like that reminds me of that uh, uh, a quick brown fox jumps over the hedge or something is like a lazy br- brown fox jumps over yeah. the hedge. It uses all the letters of the alphabet. Yeah. What is that? A quick brown fox jumps over the lazy dog. Yes. Z. You got the Z and Y and lazy. <laughs> yeah. Boom. You throw a Q in there quick. Q U. You, you're done. You're done. You're fucking done. This hot one is, uh, yeah, it's not as diluted without the ice, so it's pretty strong. I'm like, it's 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 zippy. Damn, if I knew the name of the guy who hosts Hot One, I'd after you said that, Tim, I would have been like, okay, somebody call Sean Evans. Sean Evans. 
<laughs> Get Evans on the, f- the horn. I got a celebrity who's got a metal tongue. We could use the Evans bump. <laughs> Sean Evans is is a sort of a mysterious man. He's very plain, not a hair mm-hmm. on his head. And, um, <laughs> and not a hair out of place, not a hair on his head. We don't know anything about out of other than he's a fantastic interviewer, right? The, this, the questions on, on Hot Ones are are extremely good questions and and hot ones is hugely successful we don't know much about the man and then mm. there was, he was in a news mm. item he was dating a porn star he went mm. to the super bowl with this porn star big news and then like two days later he dumps her and then if that was that i guess he it's like we knew one fact about you sir and then you said no no, no that i'll take what, that fact <laughs> were they dating or did he just was his date to the super bowl they were in love mike it could have just been one of those pigskin dates, you know? Yeah. Hey, come on out to the Super Bowl game. We'll talk about our careers. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> Enough shit chat. The time has come to judge the drink. Timothy? Drink judgers. Um, I love it. I, I think this might be sacrilege. We'll see how things play out next week, but I might like it better than just a daiquiri. Um, Woo! Um, I'm more of a rum guy than a cachaça, and I'm so I'm guessing uh, a guardiente wouldn't be my cup of tea either. But the honey adds just a little certain something that was very nice. I like it. It's an order again. I like all of the lime sugar rum drinks. I like them. Of course. You a like big hit here on the pod. Yeah. yeah. Here on the Sloppy Boys. Whether it's grog or planter's punch, whether it's mojito or... Conchantra. <laughs> a conchantra at lunch. Yeah. At lunch. Michael? A lot of times poems need to rhyme. Uh, I, this is a not order again for me. It's a not order again? Yeah. This is uh, no good. Have you considered the taste? I've considered the taste. That's what was the big tip off for me to say, and I'm not going to do this again. Huh. This is going to, I'll put it to you this way, Jeff. For the blowout, yeah. when we record that after this, Mm-hmm. Better episodes, better pod, better yeah. vibe. Better ingredients, better, better pizza. pizza. I am going to be cracking open one of my um, uh, Angry Orchard beers. Ciders, wow. I should say. He'd rather bu- drink a store-bought Angry Orchard over this. Not store-bought, given to us by a beloved brand. Sorry, a, a brand-gifted Angry Orchard over a painstakingly prepared cocktail. Wow. Mm-hmm. And for me, it's an order again. But here's the thing, folks. Kind of a pain in the ass drink. Whenever you're dealing with raw honey, eh. Use honey syrup. Pain in the ass. Make honey syrup. Um, and don't worry so much about, oh, coat the sides. Stir from the bottom to the top. That's a mess. You're just making a daiquiri with honey instead of other. And, and you know, the cachaça is good to make it earthy. Make it a little different. My my honey, when I went in the second time and, and stirred around, because I used the same ice, huge clump of honey down there. Yeah. I had, my honey was so raw, it had a honeycomb in it. A big stick of honeycomb. Jesus. Stop. How about that? How about I that? love that. That's our show. Follow us on social media at The Sloppy Boys, where we release these recipes ahead of time. And if you can't get enough of the boys, go to patreon.com slash The Sloppy Boys. Plunk down the five and get double the pleasure. We know you can't get enough of the boys. You listen every week, don't you? Yes. Yes, you love yes. it. Says all the listeners. Yes, we do. We're sheep. It's probably the best, the best uh, community of the week. Friday. Mm-hmm. Yeah, oh yeah, right. Imagine having that Wednesday as well. Wow, pretty good. Yeah. Now you're sitting pretty. Wednesday's middle of the week. You're kind of like I've talked to everyone at work about what I know. Oh, I'm going to talk about the what I learned on the blowout and have that opinion. Just talk about blowout. Yeah, everybody stuff. at work's gather yeah. all around you. Whoa, mm-hmm. where did you learn Whoa, this? Mike thing? likes John Ham. Cool. <laughs> Who's Mike again? <laughs> That's your fact. Hey, everyone gather around. Mike likes John Ham. <laughs> yeah, you get to work here another week. <laughs> well, now, uh, now, did anything from the pod here uh, make you think of any of our songs? Okay, what did we okay, discuss? Okay, we talked about Honey. We mm-hmm. talked about Luke Wilson. We talked about having beef. Yeah, beef. We had, Yeah, having anger. We talked about Cuba. Anger for your fellow man, your friend. Beef. Okay, this is an easy one. Beef. Uh, uh, smashing the plates. Love it. 
What do you put beef on? Oh, you went beef to plate. Yeah. Also, this was this drink we, we, we were, we had to energetically stir. We had to smear. This, I could see this is a dishware. <laughs> yes, this is very much a dishware And that's episode. a song that takes place at Williams Sonoma. I uh -huh. could, uh, I could, if I, if I had a gift card for Williams Sonoma, I'd probably buy some stuff to make some conchanturas. And the guy at Top Line Liquor said it was, like Reiki from France or Uzo from Greece. He was wrong, Thank but you. It, it, Greece came up. My, you know, the person I went to, my, my sort of specialty liquor store in the neighborhood that I go when we do something like this, I was talking to the guy about, uh, say the name of the stuff again, Aqua, uh, Aguante. Aguardiente. 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 I had to like show him the list. Be like, this word. Uh, he was saying that he thought maybe they didn't get it much anymore because of the Cuban embargo, like, trading embargo, missile crisis. Okay, and he was, <laughs> but he was saying in the neighborhood, the Cuban people that live in our neighborhood, they'll have it every once in a while. They'll get it somehow. Yeah, uh, life finds a way. Yeah, I like that. I was confused because yeah, you can't get Cuban cigars and stuff, but I do have Havana Club rum on my shelf. I was like, how did I get this shit? Hmm. Mm. I wonder if it was a uh, distilled like in the U.S. or something. Because I always thought Havana Club was one of those things where it was even like, I thought it was like called Bacardi in America, but it's Havana Club elsewhere. I'm wrong. I'm wrong mm. about that. I, I can be wrong. Like Hellman's Best Foods. Yeah. I can be a, still be a good person, but I've been wrong about things and I have remorse for that. Yeah. <laughs> well, Tim's a guy who's always working, always listening. Yeah. <laughs> I thought he was frozen for a second, but he was holding a stern face. He's holding a stern, thoughtful, Howard pensive stern. face. Holding stern. Yeah, holding stern. That's what Howard's wife does, uh, sure, on special occasions. Stop. I was just thinking about Howard Stern <laughs> and his, his phrase of uh, when he has sex, he's like, it's like throwing a hot dog down a hallway. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Good episode, guys. And good episode, those of you listening at home. Yeah. Peace. Uh, tell a friend next time, why don't you? Yes, please. And enjoy this. We have plenty this. of room here. Plenty of room here on the pod. <laughs> oh, yeah. If, folks, if you're thinking like, oh, I can't bring all my friends because there's no, no bandwidth. We've got plenty of bandwidth. Everyone yeah. can listen. Don't gatekeep the laughs, folks. Bring a friend. Yeah, don't be an asshole. Don't be an asshole. Yeah. Bye, folks. You little freaks. Bye. We love you. Enjoy smashing the plates by the Sloppy Boys. <laughs> Too wild, I started smashing the plane! to be laying them on. No fine, fine china, no ceramic receptacles for your limes, your pine nuts, your yams, your vegetables. No porcelain place for your gherkins and dates. Cause somebody went and trashed all the platters. But it's not my fault, what were they thinking? Sure, I guess I feel remorse, but you gotta understand the risk you're running. You can't let a freak in a
preppy plate store, and it's not just plates, it's metaphory. Greater, grander allegory. The plates are fears, the food is love, and me, I'm an angel from above. Jesus and scones, they break your bones when they're falling all over old Bill Sinones. Sharp, 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 there's no sharp to your part of your, but it's a part of me nonetheless, because I was watching the plate.